Hey everyone, it's Ruby and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is another get ready with me video and this look was inspired by the beautiful Megan Fox. So I've already primed my skin and I used a small amount of MAC Studio Sculpt on my flat top kabuki brush. I buffed that well into my skin before moving on to my brows. With my Mary Kay liner and brow brush, I'm using this to groom through my brows and apply my Aqua Bra by Makeup Forever. I'm applying this in the same direction as my hair growth. I start from the center of my brows, working out towards my tail. With whatever is left in my brush, I go ahead and fill in the head of my brow. On to prepping the eyelids. I'm using my MAC Paint Pot in the shade Laying Low and I'm using this as a base. And if you're using a brush to apply, make sure it's synthetic. As of lately, I've been obsessed with the Lorac palettes. And the Pro 2 palette is absolutely perfect for this look. I'm taking the shade Buff and applying this as an all over color. This is going to mattify our lids and take away from the tackiness of our base. For this pink eye makeup look, it's really important that you have the right transitional color. This isn't a true pink shade, it is more of a peachy color, but it will definitely complement a lot of skin tone tones and eye colors. So I'm applying this into the crease and slightly above and I am tipping my brush in a way that will help me blend the color out. The brush that I'm using to push the majority of the color into the crease is my MAC 217 brush and then I'm just going ahead and using my E40 brush by Sigma to feather and soften the edges. To deepen up our crease I'm picking up the shade Cool Grey on a clean MAC 217 brush. I'm working this color mostly on the outer third of my crease so I can further deepen this area and just bring a lot more drama to the outer portions of my eye. And the easiest way to apply color through your crease is to use the windscreen wiper motion. So we're going to leave the top part of our eyes now and move on to our lower lash line. I'm now mixing cool gray with a muted brown eyeshadow that has a warm undertone and I'm applying the bulk of this color to the outer corners of my lower lash line and with whatever's left on my brush I'm bringing it towards the inner corners. Now it's time to move on to our lid color. Take a flat shade a brush and dampen it with some Fix Plus. I'm picking up the shade Rosé with my damp eyeshadow brush. I'm applying this eyeshadow straight to the center of my lids and blending it out from there. And I'm also swiping the eyeshadow on my lids to get the best color payoff. I'm using the other side of my damp 229 brush from MAC and I'm picking up the slightly lighter shade Beige and applying this to the inner portions of my lids. Once again, I'm using a light hand and I'm swiping the eyeshadow on for a better color payoff. Just so there isn't any harsh lines, take a clean 217 brush and run this through the crease. And now it's onto highlighting. I'm mixing the shades Snow and Beige and I'm starting off by applying these two colors on the highest point of my brow. Pick up some more eyeshadow on your brush before highlighting the inner corners of your eyes. This is going to open up the eye area and reflect light in such a beautiful way. For a pretty highlighted look, apply some to your lower T-duct as well. So the time has come to wing it. I'm using my favorite drugstore gel liner, the room will scandalize in black, and I'm starting off by drawing a standard line across my lids, keeping it as thin and as close to my lashes as possible. The picture that I drew in inspiration from, Megan's liner isn't too thick or so once you've drawn out your standard line it's time to use your lower lash line as a guide to create our wing. Collect the line back to your wing and fill in the triangle. And that's your wing liner done. Simple right? Max Factor is one of my favorite brands when it comes to mascaras. I'm using the Masterpiece Transform Mascara by Max Factor. What I love about this mascara is that it is super buildable. With just a few coats you can go from natural lash to bombshell lash. And you can pretty much see that for yourself. I applied a few coats of mascara to my top lashes first. I allowed some time for them to dry before moving on to my lower lashes. And now I have party lashes. To elongate the shape of my eyes, I decided to use some accent lashes. I'm placing them on the outer corners of my eyes and using my tweezers to press down and join them with my natural lashes so you can't really see them or notice them. Lift your lashes so they sit more naturally and then just apply a little bit of liquid liner to the band of the lash to conceal them. So I have a few friends, unwanted friends, growing on my face because it's that time of the month. Thank goodness for concealer. Am I right, ladies? This is my Studio Finish concealer and I'll leave the shades that I use down below. Onto bronzing and defining the face. I'm using my L'Oreal Glam Bronze Eau du Soleil. And if you've seen my previous videos, 
I use this product not only as a bronzer, but also a transitional shade for my contour color. It just means that our contour color will blend seamlessly into the skin instead of there being a harsh line on the side of the face. Just like with my foundation, I do make sure that this product is blended well into my skin. Before I contour my face, I'm just going to be adding some color and life back to my face by using this blush not only on my cheeks, but all over my face as well. To contour, I'm using my Anastasia Beverly Hills Contour Kit and I'm taking this shade called Fawn. I absolutely love it and what I'm doing is applying this color really close to the hairline and then flicking it out onto my cheeks and underneath my cheekbones. And this technique is going to make the contour look as natural as possible. I'm brightening up the centermost part of my face by using my Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk Foundation in the shade number 4. And even though it is a foundation, it looks really great as a brightening concealer underneath the eyes if you do use it in a lighter shade. I'm applying this on the standard areas around the face. This includes underneath the eyes, down the nose, and also around the nose as well. Now to introduce to you guys my favorite highlighter of all time. This is the Becca Shimmering Skin Perfect in pearl and I'm applying this on the high points of my face. This includes on the top of my cheekbones, in between my eyebrows, on my cupid's bow and also just above my eyebrows as well and I'm going to be using my fingers to slightly blend this out. And now we are finally onto the lips. I'm using a makeup remover and taking off any foundation that I have on my lips. And I'm then going in with my Rimmel London Neutral Lip Liner and I'm just going to be lining the perimeters of my lips and I'm not going to be filling them in at all. I'm going to be showing you two lip options. The first one is a pale, elegant pink combination and the shade Hue from MAC is absolutely perfect for this look. I'm applying this straight from the bullet before going in with my lip liner once again to slightly darken the lip look. Then with my Pretty Pink Sigma lip gloss, I'm going to be applying just a small amount on the back of my hand and using a brush for a controlled and precise application to the center of my lips. This is going to help us create Megan's full pout. This is the second combination and it's my favorite and I must admit that it's slightly leaning towards Kylie Jenner than Megan Fox. I personally wanted the lips to be darker which is why I'm using Well Lip Liner by MAC and I'm just filling in the outside of my lips to make them appear much larger, fuller and poutier. And this is the finished look guys. Let me know down below which lip combo was your favorite. The lighter glossy shade or this beautiful mauvey pink look. More images from this look will be up on my blog and also on my Instagram. So don't forget to follow me on there. I hope you guys enjoyed today's tutorial. To see more videos from me, click the subscribe button down below or the pink button that you see here on the screen. I look forward to seeing you all in my next video. I love you guys. Bye.